Hello, 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 hello. Welcome back to another video. Hey, <laughs> rhymed. So welcome back to another video. Today is something that I wanted to do um, last week, but I couldn't get hold of the parts. I was let down by Euro car parts, is what it is. Uh, but today we're replacing the front drop links and we're upgrading the anti-roll bar bushes to some Powerflex poly bushes. So stay tuned. I just want to show you this. I think it's important that I do show you this because we've got a learning curve, haven't we? It is kind of is what it is. So yeah. So what I'm showing you here, this bit. This is the bottom where the drop link attaches to the anti-roll bar. And if I get it with my fingers, I do it from the other side to so you see better. You can see that movement, that play. Obviously, that shouldn't be there. This drop link's only 12 and fold. And it's just, say I'm moving it with my fingers and it's free, so that could contribute to the noise that I'm hearing. Um, yeah, quite a little bit frustrated if I'm honest. Because like I say, these drop links are only, look at that movement. Drop links on the swim and fold. So yeah, yeah. So let's get the, uh, let's get the under tray off. Let's get the under tray off. Let's have a look at these, uh, these bushes as well and get them replaced. Okay then, so, you join me under the car, you've met me here many times before in previous videos and I'll just show you then what we're looking So this here is our anti-roll bar bush that we're going to re be replacing for the Powerflex bushes Now from this side, I don't know how well you can see it, from this side they don't look too bad But from this side there is a bit of a gap, so they are a little bit worn, this one Looks like it's actually been moving on the anti-roll bar. Again, from this side. Yeah, the anti-roll bar itself is kind of a bit rusty, but it's not weakened. So it looks quite simple to do these. We've got a bolt at the bottom there, and one there. And then we've got the same on this side, one there, and one there. So I'm going to get to some WD-40 on these, uh, and then we'll get them off. I'm hoping... I'm hoping that I've ordered the right size bushes because there's many, many different size bushes for these and I've gone for a 26.5 millimeter anti-roll bar bush and I think looking at these, they are the same. So, we will get some WD-40 on these and then we will look to get these nuts off. That'll do. Right, so these two bolts are 13 mil. Come free fairly nicely. He's a bit tight. Let's get, let's get this other one cracked off. Ooh. There we go. Look at that. The magic of WD-40. Same again, 13 mil. Again, come off fairly easy. I bet my neighbours think I'm crazy out here to a camera. I don't think any of them know that I make YouTube videos. Keep them not safe. Same for this side. This one looks a bit rusty, but look at that. WD 40 working its magic. There we go. 
Go. Who the hell? So you, I'll, I'll take the the drop links off now, uh, and then you'll join me with the roll bar on the garage floor. Right, I've got the first one off, so I'll show you how I've done it. So, what I'll do is I'll show you on the other. So this, if you can see it, the bush opens, obviously to go around the bar, um, and all I've done is I've got like a big flat head, and locate that, and then we just kind of persuade a little bit. And then once, as you can see now, the bush is starting to come out, and you can, you just got to kind of keep going, and eventually you get half the bush out. Put your fingers, you get half the bush out, and you see that. And then once you've got it half out, you can take the bush off the bar. So again. A screwdriver, what we're going to do is just pry it away, taking our time. Well, that's interesting. I'll show you that in a second because it's useful. Bush bracket. So earlier on, I mentioned that I weren't sure if I bought the right size bus because they were different sizes. And I bought, the ones I bought are 26.5 millimeters. And if you look at these original, I don't know if you can see in the bottom, you can see the original BMW badge. And then if I turn the bus round, you can see it says 26.5. So winner, absolute winner. We've got the right size of bushes. Let's have a bit of a comparison then. Sexy, sexy, eh? So there are new bushel. First difference is that these ones, the clamp, is on the side, as you can see, and then our new Power Flex ones, the clamps, on the top. So again, got our nice new shiny poly bush. I'll get our nice silicone. Can I stay in my glove. It. and then place in its metal housing what I will say is it's difficult to get them in this metal housing I'm presuming that's because the, the bushes are a bit better than the ones that we took off job done we are poly bushed up Right, so let's get these drop links off. I've done a video previously, about a year ago, funnily enough, where I changed the drop links. Um, I've already took the bottom, the bottoms off where they connect to the roll bar. So we're just going to take the top ones off uh, and remove the drop link. And we're going to compare them. I'm going to inspect this one a little bit more. I've got it now on my hand, and it, it is it's shocking. It's like it's absolutely shocking. I can't, I can't believe how bad it is after 12 months of road use. And I don't do that many miles before, like before people think that I do. Between six to ten thousand a year so I'm, I'm being used. So if you're done up behind we're just gonna I think it's spinning why does it keep stopping there we go we've got it off uh, so we're out to the driver's side this one isn't knocking but they were put on at the same time and we're going to replace them we're going to replace both so i've got a matching pair there we go and she's off so then let's have a look at these drop links so this is 
the driver's side one, complete with uh, nuts on both ends. This one doesn't cause many problems, at, well I don't think it does. But that is loose, the boot's actually split. I don't know how you can see that. But this end is still quite stiff if you like. This is the problem one, now look at this. So I'm on full, well, about 6,000 miles, six, that's, six, the, the boots all split as well, look at it. These are, yeah I thought they were, Ferry Bilstein, um, I'm not going to slate them, uh, but they've not lasted have they, let's be honest, there's quite a few parts as well that are Ferry Bilstein on the car that I've used that I've not had problems with, uh, including the inner and outer tie rods that I did in a recent video, go back and check that out. Um, so, because these ones have let me down, I've gone for a different brand. And I've gone for Mog. Mog, is that, is that how you say it? Mog, or Moog, Mog. We'll go with Mog, it sounds like Mog. This one nice, baby bills. If you look at the difference, this one a lot fatter. It looks a little bit more well put together if you compare the ends. So, yeah, I hope the other heavy bill sign parts that I've got are okay. We're done. Hopefully, this will stop our knocking. That's the main point of this video. We need this knocking to do one because it's absolutely doing my head in. So, let's get these on the car. There's a top and a bottom. So I think it might be a sixteen mil again. Look at that. I'm not going to tighten it up all the way, I'm just going to nip it up because I want it. We'll tighten it up once we've got the roll, roll bar on again. So let's get the passenger side on as well. Making sure I'm not catching anything. Again, I'm not going to tighten this side up all the way. We're just going to kind of get it on. And then once we've got the roll bar on, we can see where we're up to. We're not far off getting this job done now. Quite impressive, am I? So we're going to get the roll bar back on the car. I'm not sure how much you'll see of this, because it's going to be a little bit tricky. But I hope you can see under there. secure but I've got it on so I'm gonna get the drop links in make sure everything lines up properly because I don't want to lower the car down and I've put the roll bar back along and I end up bending something so we'll get it all back on that side looks all right this side needs a bit of a persuading yeah, and we'll get it on freezing line down on this driveway bring back some right so this is and this is where we're gonna join up the roll bar to our new drop link So well, the new ones, the Mog, Moog, Mog, whatever they're called, are the same as the OEM. They are six. So that's now nice and tight. Again, we're doing the bottom one first. This one's not fully in, so a bit of a sliding. There we go. Oh, 
I'll also about these drop lights is the new ones. You can actually get them very tight, like so. Before, in fact, you don't even have to nip up the other side. That's how sturdy these new drop lights are. That's lovely. So then, I've got the roll bar on, back on. It was a bit fiddly because I took it all the way off. Now, I don't think you necessarily need to take it all the way off. So if you're having to do, have a go at this yourself, then I don't think you need to take it all the way off. I think you can do it on the car. I took it off just for demonstration purposes, really. Drop links are secure. We're just going to tighten up them four bolts that we use to undo and take the bushes off on the, on the roll bar. And then we're nearly done, drop under tray back on, back drop it back down and test drive and hopefully this knocking is gone. And I don't think any old BMW is complete without at least one cable tie holding on the under tray. wrap this video up so today's actually Tuesday um, I did these the job on Friday so it's been about four days and I've used the car kind of give it a proper test drive been to work in it done some miles in it and I'm happy to report the knocking is gone now not only is the knocking gone but the car feels a lot tighter a lot more taut on the front it drives it's, it's totally changed it's totally changed the characteristics of this car so it proves that these bushes must have been worn the drop links are worn and we've done the in and out of tie rods and the car is so much better so the next video hopefully will some be something a little bit more upbeat than me whinging about some knocking on the front of the car so i hope you've enjoyed this one if you have give it a thumbs up comment down below please subscribe to the channel if you already haven't please follow me on instagram ft.uk look me up um, and we'll see you on the next one